Welcome to the Lido weather tutorial for Lido M Pilot version 6.6. .6. With this Lido M Pilot release, a flight must be loaded in the flight folder in order to manage the display of weather polygons on the en route map using the weather layers menu button. If the weather layers menu button is selected, when no flight is loaded in the flight folder, the following message will be displayed in the weather layer menu. After a flight is loaded into the flight folder, a corridor centered on the loaded route will be displayed on the en route map. Within this corridor, weather polygons will be displayed. Additionally, the flight level selector icon, vertical profile button, and time slider icon will be enabled. Selecting the weather layers menu button will show the weather layers menu, where you can manage the display of polygons in the corridor on the en route map, by selecting, or deselecting the toggle switch belonging to the corresponding weather layer tile. The polygons for the observations, and advisories data types, will be displayed on the en route map within a corridor width of 600 nautical miles, centered on the loaded route. The polygons from the newly introduced weather data type forecasts, will be displayed within a corridor width of 300 nautical miles, centered on the loaded route. The corridor width information is displayed in parentheses next to the name of the weather data type. Let's look at the new weather data type, forecasts, which will be available if subscribed to by your company. When the toggle switch for the turbulence layer tile is selected, the forecast data for turbulence is displayed as purple polygons within the corridor on the en route map. There are three shades of purple for quick recognition of the turbulence intensity, and the color coding for each intensity is shown for reference on the turbulence layer tile. Selecting the toggle switch for the icing layer tile, will display the forecast data for icing as blue polygons within the corridor on the en route map. There are three shades of blue for quick recognition of the icing severity, and the color coding for each severity is shown for reference on the icing layer tile. On the respective weather layer tile, you can find the selected flight level in which the weather polygons are displayed on the en route map. Additionally, the following validity information is accessible. The date and time the forecast was issued, the date and time of expiration, and the date and time the data was last updated. The time is shown in UTC. With the availability of the turbulence data displaying as purple polygons, on the en route map in this Lido M pilot release, the color for SIGMET polygons will be displayed as shown. Let's turn our attention to the flight level selector, by selecting the flight level selector icon. You can display polygons belonging to the weather data type, forecasts, on the en route map at a specific flight level, for example flight level 230, by tapping and dragging the middle handler until it displays 230. All polygons belonging to the selected layer tiles in the forecast section at flight level 230 are displayed on the en route map. To close the flight level selector, tap on the flight level selector icon. The selected flight level for the forecast data type will be displayed on the flight level selector icon. Besides displaying the lateral overview of the selected weather layer tile as polygons, Along the loaded route within its predefined corridor on the en route map, Lido M Pilot is also capable of presenting selected weather phenomena in a vertical cross section view along the loaded route using the vertical profile window. To display the vertical profile, select the vertical profile button located on the bottom bar of the en route map. The vertical profile window displays the following information flight plan, including departure, destination airports, and route. Terrain within a 20 nautical miles wide corridor, centered on the loaded route. Weather polygons within a 30 nautical miles wide corridor, centered on the loaded route, and own ship symbol if enabled by your company. By using multi-touch gestures, you can zoom in, or zoom out, and pan in the window. When a long tap is performed on a polygon of interest in the vertical profile window, it will trigger the attribute lookup window, which lists all polygons within the tapped area. Selecting a listed polygon will highlight the location of the polygon on the vertical profile window in the en route map. If an info icon is available for the selected polygon, selecting the icon shows detailed information for the polygon, such as the polygon name, the flight level range, severity etc. To close the attribute lookup window, tap outside the window. If you want to reset the vertical profile window to the default state, double tap inside the window. Similar to the weather polygons displayed on the en route map, 
The weather polygons displayed in the vertical profile window can be filtered by using the time slider. Note, the flight level selector does not filter any weather polygons displayed in the vertical profile window. Instead, the window displays the range of flight levels on a white background, selected by the top and bottom handlers on the flight level selector. This concludes the tutorial. We wish you successful operations with this new functionality in Lido M Pilot.